in any sport, once the playoffs begin, it's anybody's game. We've learned this plenty of times over the years. More often than not, a team with an extremely difficult journey seems to come out on top. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present you with 10 championship teams that had the toughest road to glory. And a big shout out to Lord Dracon7367 for suggesting this list. We do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe for more cool videos every single day. Number 10, 2011 St. Louis Cardinals. In August, the Cardinals trailed the Atlanta Braves by 10 and a half games from the National League wildcard spot. But the Cardinals rallied in September while the Braves went 9 and 18, allowing the Red Birds to snatch the wildcard berth. In the NLDS, they had to face a Philadelphia Phillies team that won 102 games in the regular season. The Cardinals shocked them and took the series in five games. They then faced the NL Central winning Milwaukee Brewers, but the Cardinals took care of them in six games. The Cardinals then barely got by the Texas Rangers in a thrilling seven-game World Series. Number 9, 2006 Miami Heat Though Dwayne Wade and Shaquille O'Neal formed quite the duo in the Sunshine State, very few people outside Miami thought this team would take down the reigning Eastern Conference champion Detroit Pistons. But before the series, Miami had to get through a major headache in the Vince Carter and Jason Kidd-led New Jersey Nets in the second round. The Heat met the Pistons in the Eastern Conference Final and shocked them in six games. They then had to face Dirk Nowitzki's Dallas Mavericks, who had home advantage. After losing the first two games, Miami rallied to win four straight but not before traveling a more complicated path than the boulevard of broken dreams. Number 8. 2010 Green Bay Packers One of the trendy picks to win Super Bowl 45, the Packers didn't qualify for January football until Week 17. This team by a hair got through the rejuvenated Michael Vick and his Philadelphia Eagles in the wildcard round. The Packers then had to face the NFC's top-seeded Atlanta Falcons, but the Pack smashed them in the mouth. Green Bay also barely got by their arch-rivals, the Chicago Bears, in the Windy City during the NFC Championship game. And yeah, they just squeaked by Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl. Number 7. 1995 New Jersey Devils For 17 years, the 95 New Jersey Devils were the lowest seed to ever win the Stanley Cup. After finishing the regular season in fifth place in the East, they upset Boston Bruins juggernaut led by all-time great defenseman Ray Bork and superstars Cam Neely and Adam Oates in the first round. New Jersey then had to face the dominant Pittsburgh Penguins in round two, but Yammer Yager's pens weren't marching here as the Devils took care of them in five. In round three, the Devils upset the second-seeded Philadelphia Flyers in the Eastern Conference Final. They then pulled off one of the greatest upsets in Stanley Cup Final history, sweeping the powerhouse Detroit Red Wings for their first-ever Stanley Cup. Number 6. 2012 Baltimore Ravens It was Ray Lewis's swan song as the franchise's greatest icon was hanging up his cleats at the end of the season. The Ravens limped to the finish line of the regular season but got through the Andrew Luck-led Indianapolis Colts in the wildcard round. Amazingly, Joe Flacco led his unit to a huge upset win over Peyton Manning in the top-seeded Denver Broncos in the divisional round. The Ravens then crushed the New England Patriots on the road in the AFC Championship game, and they'd go on to beat the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 47. Number 5. 2011 Dallas Mavericks Everyone knew the Mavericks were great, but nobody thought they'd be good enough to win the Western Conference. Well, they beat the 48-34 Portland Trail Blazers in the first round. In one of the biggest surprises in NBA history, the Mavericks wound up sweeping the LA Lakers in the second round, holding off Kobe Bryant's chase for ring number six. Dallas had to face the Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook-led OKC Thunder in the third round, but they took care of them in five games. Then in the NBA Finals, everyone thought they were finished when they had to face the Miami Heat super team consisting of LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. Oh, but the Mavericks shocked the Heat's big three in six games to win their first ever NBA championship. Number 4. 2012 San Francisco Giants The Giants won the NL West, but quickly fell behind two games to none against the Cincinnati Reds in the first round of postseason action. With a 3-2-3 playoff format, they were forced to win three straight in Cincinnati. The Giants somehow accomplished the nearly impossible feat and advanced, but then found themselves trailing the defending World Series champion St. Louis Cardinals, three games to one in the NLCS. San Fran rallied to win three straight, setting up a battle against the Miguel Cabrera-led Detroit Tigers in the World Series. Lucky for them, the Fall Classic part was easy as they swept the Tigers to win their second title in three years. Number 3. 2005 Pittsburgh Steelers A year after an embarrassing home loss in the 2004 AFC Championship, the Steelers just nabbed the sixth seed in the AFC. That set up a showdown with their divisional rivals, the Cincinnati Bengals. Not to worry as the Steelers got by them. Pittsburgh then took down the top seed in Indianapolis Colts in the divisional round, thanks to the Steel Curtain's remarkable effort. The Steelers went on to crush the 13-3 Denver Broncos on the road in the AFC Championship. Pittsburgh then beat the NFC's top-seeded Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl 40, a nearly impossible road to travel, but the Steelers made it look easy for the most part. Number 2. 2012 Los Angeles Kings The Kings to date are the only eighth seed to win a Stanley Cup. They shocked the defending Western Conference champion and league-leading Vancouver Canucks in the opening round. 
They then swept the second-seeded St. Louis Blues in round two, and they beat the third-seeded Coyotes in round three. Los Angeles then got through the New Jersey Devils' stingy defense in the Stanley Cup final, winning their first-ever championship in six games. And number one, 2007 New York Giants. After losing their first two games to start 2007, the G-Men qualified for the playoffs as the fifth seed with a 10-6 record. They took down the NFC South, winning Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC Wild Card round. The Giants then traveled to Dallas to take on their arch rivals, the Cowboys, who swept them in the season series. New York then upset the second-seeded Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship. And you know how Super Bowl 42 went down. It's only the biggest upset in NFL history as they took down the 18-0 New England Patriots. What other championship teams overcame extremely difficult paths to get there? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time.